Hey there, fellow gamers. Welcome back to the Gamer's Corner. Today, we've got something truly thrilling lined up for you in the world of PUBG Mobile Esports. Get ready to dive into the heart-pounding action of the top four clutches of PMGO Finals 2024. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more adrenaline-fueled content like this. Let's dive in. Kicking things off, brace yourselves for an electrifying 1v3 showdown courtesy of S2G Kalsi against the formidable Zebra Masters. Though he couldn't seal the deal alone, his team swoops in for the epic finish. Still alive there. Elsewhere on the map, teams are getting it underway. The new zone did come up, it shifted back up north, so Corey is dead center. You can see S2G just north of the center zone fighting with Zebra Masters. Crazy with that nade in hand trying to hold back the push. S2G do have a little split defense with one player up on that hill. Hopefully Crazy can handle his own right now. Hopefully they will be able to handle that because the shotguns are going to be coming now to play. You can see Zebra Masters now going for that push. I don't think he was able to spot it. We're not going to be able to see anything as we also get flashbang. And there's going to be just madness going on within this building. Zebra Masters decide to back up a little bit more. You were talking about that player from SCG up in the mountain, being able to get that off angle. But Racy does end up getting on demeanor, being able to get that angle on Racy. And now it's looking advantageous here for Zebra Masters. Are they just looking to just corral Kasi? Look, <laughs> every single angle that Kasi might want to exit from is going to be covered here from Zebra Masters. Yeah, S2G not looking good here at all. Two players up on the hill really need to make an opening. Actually, it's going to be Kasi to find that opening and the finish. Now he really needs the support of his teammates on the outside. Kelsey, what's he going to do? Is he going to back off? Or is he going to try and hold this down on his own with the DPS? That's one. That's two. He just needs one more to get the whole one before. But Kelsey does go down. Where's the support from his teammates? Not in time. Kelsey does get thirsted. Now we do have Zebra Masters in the 1v2 situation. Keep your eyes glued to the screen as Call Goat from Royals of War delivers a jaw-dropping 1v2 clutch against none other than the reigning tournament champions, Reject Scarlet. Talk about a game-changing moment. When you have a fight like this, you gotta get it finished as soon as possible, especially at this stage, because in Sandhawk, those third parties are gonna come almost instantly. So getting a knock from Vampire is gonna be tough, but Reject's gonna push on in here. Cole Goal holding it down with that M4! Shut them down, and Team Reject are actually going to be the first team out. Hold on to your seats as Reject Scarlet Sarah demonstrates why he's hailed as a true powerhouse in the world of Fraggers. Witness him pull off a breathtaking 1v2 takedown against the formidable Boomy Sports. That's for sure. Now let's see what happens here. Is Divine's going to be going up against Boom. Uh, team Reject just not letting up off the gas. Beautiful oh. nade to start things off. Oh, we got that knock. That would have been huge. But him very separated from his team. Here comes the rest of the squad now. Full committing on Boom. Now it's a 1v1. Who's going to win it? Sara behind the car on the low ground. Quick peeks. Gets the confirmation on one. Has no a cannon no way. He's low tossing low some toss heads. Head. I mean, I I'm talking about mechanics here. He's pressing so many things at once. You don't know his next move. And maybe that's the plan. If you don't know what you're doing, the opponent definitely doesn't. Sara's still up. First aid coming through. Rejects looking to pick up eight points potentially here. If he can win this 1v1, it's a cat and mouse game. And Sara yeah! does get it done. That's that mechanics right there. Oh. Eight points already. Placement points. Who's that? Rejects picking up all the Elim points. We're saving the best for last. Prepare to be blown away as Guizhou from Death Wolves executes a mind-blowing 1v3 masterpiece against the powerhouse Nova Esports from China. This is the stuff legends are made of. So, Nova, are they gonna group up now? I'm looking at the minimap. They are gonna group up. So no longer holding that greedy 2-2. You can see them uh, forming up together as one of them do get knocked. That's a strong position and I don't know if they're gonna get full slam yet. Yeah, I think Oso was holding that spot, waiting for the next circle the second it popped, and he realized that, yep, we're going to have to go ahead and commit to Everest. The rest of the team is going to start creeping up his way. IHC are going to move up the mountain because they know that that's the direction that they're going to need to start heading. Meanwhile, Parapoy gets ran over by the Death Wolves. Oh, instantly shut down. Here comes Guizhou. He's going to have to make it happen here. Oh, the DBS gets the nice shot. Now he's going to have to hit these shots here. Back and forth. Here they go. The peaks are coming in strong. And the Death Wolves oh. shutting down Nova. Wow. 
was out right there in a 1v3. Shutting down the Nova team. That was a huge win for them.